Hey brothers and sisters, Steve Monad here with another video on my Bible Prophecy Bite series where we look at Bible scripture, history, and current events that all point to the soon return of Jesus Christ. So for today's video, I want to talk about the Trump peace plan again. <laughs> I have specifically refrained from uh, making a video on this topic for the last several weeks, mainly out of respect for the many victims that have suffered as a result of this peace plan and its media reports. And you'll understand what I'm referring to in a couple minutes. And what exactly am I referring to? Well, as you may recall, the Midwest part of the United States, otherwise known as the Heartland, uh, was struck by over 200 tornadoes over the course of 13 days during the month of May and very early June. And the damage was extensive. Uh, but thankfully, the loss of life was relatively low. Granted, any loss of life is, is bad, but, you know, in, in my business as a firefighter paramedic, it could have been a lot worse. But the question is, is was 200 tornadoes normal for this time of year? I don't think so. Of course, some tornadoes are expected in that region during that time of, of, of May and June. But 213 days? Well, maybe it's climate change that's causing this massive destruction, right? Maybe it's man-made. Then again, I have no clue concerning that subject matter. But, but the question is, is what, what, what causes that? What causes 200 tornadoes? Well, I would propose to you that it was God that allowed it to happen. And your first question would be, God? Why would he allow that to happen? That's awful. And my answer is simple. If you remember, on May 19th, 2019, the U.S. government announced that it would be releasing the economic portion of the Trump peace plan at a meeting to be held in Bahrain on June 25th, 2019. And what most of you may not have noticed is that 24 hours after that announcement, the tornadoes began striking the Midwest, and they continued to strike for another 13 days hundreds of millions of dollars in damage, many deaths. But again, as I said earlier, thankfully the deaths were relatively low considering the intensity of these storms. And of course, we cannot forget all of the flooding in the Midwest that occurred during March and April of this year, 2019, because that resulted in only 33% of the corn crop being planted for this year. So that's going to end up causing a significant price increase later on this year. And of course, the U.S. government, all of its brilliance, is using corn for car fuel instead of food. But that's a whole other subject. So it's obvious that this peace plan brings nothing but judgment and death. And I've documented this extensively in my previous videos on this matter. But just to prove my point, 14 times the U.S. government has proposed peace with Israel and the Arab world. And... In these times, it was proposed to divide the land of Israel for peace. In 14 times, the Lord our God issued judgment on the USA in the form of natural disasters that caused billions of dollars in damage and property loss and thousands of lives lost. And you can see that in my previous videos. Well, by now, you would think that someone in the U.S. government would put two and two together, but apparently not. Which brings me to the next wonderful bit of news for you. On June 16th, 2019, at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square, New York, Jason Greenblatt and Danny Dannon, along with many other Israeli politicians, will be guest speakers at a Jerusalem Post annual conference. And the topic on which they will speak about? The Trump peace plan, of course. And you can see this right on Jerusalem Post's website. They will be discussing the Trump peace plan and the Israeli elections. And I would expect to see elements of this peace plan to be strategically divulged at this meeting, especially in light of the upcoming new elections in Israel. So what's going to happen over the next few days? Brothers and sisters, watch out. I would expect to see some sort of judgment on this country again. Where, when, and how will it occur? 
I have no idea. But since the Lord has issued judgment on the USA 14 times in the past, when an Israeli peace plan has just been discussed, and I think it could be a sure bet that the Lord will do it again within the next week or so. So stay alert, stay focused, and remember most of all to keep looking up, for our redemption draws near. Thanks for watching.